our this exercise is about the blind spot which is an anatomical feature that we have in our eyes basically where the optic nerve comes in um, we don't have any photoreceptors so we're going to use basically a 3x5 card uh, if you don't have a 3x5 card you can fold a piece of notebook paper you know, double fold it and you're going to put a couple of marks on there you're going to put a cross and a dot and I have these about two and a half inches apart what you do with this is you have the cross basically pointing toward your nose and you cover the eye so the cross is pointing toward the part where you have your hand and then you take this you've got to look at the cross so be sure that you're staring at the cross and slowly bring that in and as you do this at some point that dot is going to disappear and that's because the image of the dot is now falling where your optic nerve enters now this can be a little bit difficult for some people to do and that's largely because uh, our vision tends to jump around once uh, something gets out of the field of vision so you may have to work with this I'm going to show you an illustration here of how that uh, blind spot looks and I want you to do this exercise uh, basically we're just seeing if you can find it so what you can record on the data sheet is yes I found it or no I didn't this is a graphic just illustrating the concept of the blind spot if you take a look at this you'll notice that the areas in blue or the line in blue what is located out here would fall directly on the optic nerve which would prevent you from being able to see it fortunately we do have two eyes so what falls on one optic nerve doesn't fall on the other one and as a result this doesn't generally cause us too many problems now this illustration also is actually quite helpful uh, in terms of another exercise that we're going to do which relates to binocular vision and the fact that we can use binocular vision to determine depth perception.